Plastics are used extensively in fruit and vegetable production because they have a lot of benefits. Early in the season, they help to warm the soil so the crop can get started quicker. And then, as far as yield goes, they can increase yield tremendously. They reduce the weed, disease, and insect pressure. And they also help with moisture retention under that plastic so you can use less water while you're producing a crop. Polyethylene plastic is essential to specialty crop production in the United States um, and really throughout the world, especially for vegetable crops. When you consider the negative environmental footprint of polyethylene plastic in terms of disposal and impacts on soil quality, um, it's highly desirable to find a substitute. For this reason, our project is looking at biodegradable plastic films that can be used for mulching in agriculture. Most agricultural plastics are recycled after they've been used. However, plastic mulch is not recycled for one primary reason, and that is because it's heavily contaminated with soil. Now, we may not think of soil as a contaminant, but our recyclers do. So the soil that's on the plastic will destroy recycling equipment. Um, the plastic that would be melted and used to make other products would have soil within it, which would not be conducive to the, the formation of other products. So currently, plastic mulch is not allowed to recycling centers, which means that all the plastic mulch that's used in, in the, certainly in the United States and worldwide today, is either dumped on uh, farmlands or into landfills. The overall objective of this project is really to understand how replacing a biodegradable plastic for a conventional polyethylene plastic mulch, what are the impacts of using that? And again, throughout the whole life cycle of the plastic, from the production of the plastics through their laying it on the field, to their use throughout the growing season, to their end of life, which will probably include plowing them into the soil or perhaps removing them and taking them to a compost pile. We are looking at the effect of these different biodegradable mulches on soils. So when we apply those mulches to soils, we might expect that uh, soil quality over time will be affected by these mulch applications. So our specific objective is to see how long-term mulch applications will affect the functions of soil, our soil functions, and we quantify this by assessing different soil quality parameters. We do that here in the field, so we'll do different types of uh, experiments to assess soil physical, soil biological, soil chemical uh, parameters. One of the biggest concerns that farmers have about using biodegradable mulches is their impact on soil quality. So in addition to all the soil quality measures that we took in the field, we're also looking at how these mulches are affecting the microbial communities in the soil. So we're interested in the bacteria and the fungi that live there and if they're changing as a result of using these materials. Growers understand that the biodegradable plastics are better for their environment because convert conventional polyethylene plastics harm the environment. They get brittle and the pieces of plastic that form get dispersed in the environment and they don't break down. I think farmers understand that, but they're a little reluctant to use plastics until they know that year after year of using this plastic, that if they're plowed into the soil or taken to a compost pile, that they will be fully converted into carbon dioxide and water by microorganisms. Part of the project is transdisciplinary training so that the economists can talk to the material scientists, who can talk to the horticulturists, and so on and so forth. Having that training as a scientist and also especially as a student, it's going to be very valuable 